Okay, so question number five is to draw the major product formed in the following reaction. So we start off with this epoxy or epoxide ring that has an ethyl group and it reacts with sodium cyanide ethanol, so I'll just write ETOH, and water. Okay, so let's analyze what we have given for this reaction. We have this epoxide ring, which are generally pretty strained and are easy to break, so that's one thing to note. And we have sodium cyanide, which is a strong base and is good to act as a nucleophile. Okay, so if we are to draw out the mechanism that occurs for this reaction, we have the cyanide ion coming in. to open up the ring on the least sterically hindered side. So this gives us the following intermediate where we have our cyanide ion. We have the ring that is now opened up and then we just have our ethyl group that remains the same. So now we have this negatively charged oxygen. This is when the water molecule is involved because this negatively charged oxygen will get protonated. to give us our final product, which now has a new cyanide group, an alcohol group, and the remaining ethyl. as our final product. So if we were to name this molecule, we first need to number it. So starting from the cyanide is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have a 5 carbon long chain. So pent will be our parent name. And then on carbon 3 is an alcohol group. So to signify that you guys can't even see the final structure. Hold on, let me move this down a bit. Okay, so we have the cyanide group. and an alcohol group yep so this is our final product that you can now see and again i'm going to number carbon one two three four and five and on carbon three is an alcohol group, so we're going to signify it as 3-hydroxy. And the reason for this is because uh, the main carbon that we're looking at is the nitrile, so this will be our uh, suffix. It 
is more prioritized than the alcohol group in terms of functional groups. So 3-hydroxy, and then our parent name was penta. And our suffix is just nitrile, so pentane nitrile. Okay, so I'll also write down what happened in this mechanism, which is referred to as an SN2 mechanism. So the epoxide ring opened up. And the cyanide ion then attacks the less hindered carbon. Okay, so now let's see what the junior tutor said. A nucleophilic ring opening occurs when epoxides are treated with nucleophilic reagents. Base catalyzed epoxide opening is a typical SN2 rea reaction in which the attack of the nucleophile takes place at the less hindered epoxide carbon. Uh, make a new bond between the nucleophile and an electrophile and simultaneously break a bond to give a stable molecule. Backside attack of the nucleophile on the less hindered carbon of the highly strained epoxide opens the ring and displaces O-. Or displaces O-, so yeah, and they have 3-hydroxypentane nitrile. Okay, so this solution is correct.